Facial expressions uh, can be a scary thing to draw. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of my thought process so that you understand that it really isn't too much of a difference to looking at a face when it's in an expressive position versus just a normal drawing of a face. When we think of a face, we're still looking at anatomy. The difference between the anatomical structure of an expression versus the anatomical structure of an underlying face when it's in just a standard pose is really the muscles begin to take authority of some of the shapes that you begin to see. When I'm just looking straight in a normal position, my skull is really dictating a lot of those shapes and those relationships. So we're still focusing on the underlying planimetric uh, concepts that we've been dealing with before. I'm still laying in the face of the same proportions in mind. The thing that begins to differ is how I begin to see uh, the landmarks change around the eyes, around the cheekbones, underneath the mouth, between the eyes, and right around the forehead. Because those are where the muscles really begin to kind of contract and expand and cause those facial features to shift. And that's where we get to be able to define expressions. If you look at these drawings, you're going to see besides me focusing on what's, around, what's happening around the eyes and what's happening around the mouth and what's happening around those expressive positions on the face, I'm also thinking about how do I change value relationships because what happens is the values on those anatomical landmarks deepens because those contracting underlying muscles. So I think it's a twofold thing. Emphasize those landmarks that are really important because they're expressing form uh, because of the underlying anatomy and also realize that the anatomy itself is going to begin to create large differences in value relationships because of the extent of how they're delving deeper into the surface of the form. So with those new underlying concepts in mind, don't forget to always focus on your proportions and your structure because those are two things that are always going to be consistent. And good luck!